Let's cross over to a standard for our second learner question. Thank you so much, guys. Next up, I have Mangoba who's going to be asking us a question. How are you? I'm oh, fine. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. Thank you for asking, Mangoba. So tell me, how do you enjoy spending your time? I like to, I like to play soccer. You like to play soccer? Yes. Oh, that's pretty cool. What's your favorite team? Orlando Pirates. Ah, man. Mangoba, you must support a winning team like Chiefs, but it's okay. It's fine. Why don't you go ahead and ask us a question? Do you think there are planets out there with living things on them? Well, I think they are, but let's find out. At this point in time, no scientific proof has been given to show evidence of life existing somewhere else in our solar system or in the universe. However, we know that our sun is only one of billions of stars in the universe. It could very well be that one or more of those stars has a planet orbiting it with life forms living on it. Although we have no proof of life existing on other planets, movie makers and writers have used their imaginations to suggest that life does exist on other planets. Many books and movies have shown life from other planets to be harsh and cruel and invasive, trying to take over planet Earth and harm humans. Have fun in this activity. You are going to do some role playing where some aliens land on Earth and you are their first contact. They want to invade Earth and kill all the humans. They believe that Earth has all the minerals that they desire. How are you going to save all the humans and Earth from the alien invasion? Follow the instructions in your workbook carefully. The learner will now pause the DVD and attempt the activity in the workbook. I would have loved to see all your plays. I'm sure you convinced the aliens to leave Earth. Let's cross over to Asanda and the learners for our final question. Thank you so, so much, guys. And next up with another question for us is Nombu Melelo. How are you doing, Bumi? I'm okay, and how are you? I'm very well, thank you. So why don't you tell me about what you want to do when you're all grown up? I want to do dramatizing. I want to act in solo piece and movies. Wow. You're going to have lots of fun, aren't you? Yes, are you I a good am. actress? Yes, I'm very good. Super stuff. So you've also got a question for us. Yes, I Go do. ahead. Our planet is really interesting. Can we make a mind map to help me remember what I have learned? Well, can we? Remember that a mind map is an excellent way of summarizing information and showing how all the little bits fit together to form the big picture. You will develop the mind map yourself in the next activity. But here are some ideas to help you get started. Place the central theme of this unit in the center of your page and then draw out arrows from the words that will link to all the lessons that we covered. Once you've done that, then you need to go back to each lesson and insert the key ideas from those lessons. Complete your mind map in this way. Use color to help you organize the points. You're going to assess a partner's mind maps. You're going to compare mind maps and see if there's any way you can combine ideas to make both mind maps more useful as a study tool. Compare and share the best ideas with your class in a discussion. The learner will now pause the DVD and attempt the activity. This is one example of a mind map that summarizes the various lessons in this unit. Compare this mind map with those you drew. This lesson was a summary of all the work you've done in this unit, planet Earth and beyond. That's all we have time for in today's lesson. From me, your host, Aubrey, until next time, have a good one. Well, Bumi, it's good to know that you can remember what you learned, hey, with all those mind maps and you're going to be okay. <laughs> yes. Good stuff. Well, guys, this has certainly been an interesting lesson. I've learned so much about planets. What about you? 
This session has been really interesting. It's been great, hey? Yes. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm going to see you all in our next lesson. Have fun, be good. Until then, bye. Thank you.